The reason for the Chile Institute is, is in our mission statement, to educate the world about the wonders of chilies. We want to do more with your New Mex varieties and make them available. You know, they should do very, very well. And they looks like they're doing excellent. Yeah, I mean, yeah. good. At New Mexico State University, they hired a horticulturist. His name was Fabian Garcia to help with farmers. Farmers at that time were growing mainly cotton and corn, and they wanted to start the horticultural industry. So Fabian's uh, job was to look at crops. In the late 1800s, early 1900s, chili peppers were not really grown uh, in the United States. Uh, they were really not known at all. You couldn't find chili seeds, and so we were supplied chili seeds. And, and that was the day that people would write a letter, you put the seeds in an envelope, send them back. And so that's how we got started. And then it's just grown over the years to, to be what it is now, the Chili Institute. The reason people like our chilies, we take pride in it, is it crosses all economic groups, all ethnic groups, and it, and it actually it tastes good. And psychologists have said it's like riding a roller coaster. You know you're going to be scared, but you know you're going to live through it. And eating chili peppers are the same way. You know there's going to be some bite, but I'm going to live through it. So it's kind of fun. And, and then when you eat chili peppers, that heat produces endorphins in your body and you feel good. And none of the other states had it because we invented it here at New Mexico State University. So it's something we can take pride in that we introduce something to the whole world that everybody loves.